Hello there, this is Shell, and welcome to the 2000 subscriber Q&A. Let's just get into it. What is your inspiration? Related? What got you into music and what inspires you the most? I've always been into music, ever since I was a child. As for my inspiration, I draw it from everything. The music I listen to, the media I consume, the people I meet, everything. That and ponies. How long have you been working with audio? For many, many years. Ever since I was a kid and used my little tape recorder and my yak back. Those were a thing in the 90s to record others and alter the sounds and tell stories and various other things. I've been working with audio. As for taking audio more seriously, that has been in the last seven years. What plugin did you use in the opening of your Prototype VIP special? The one that makes you sound like you're inside a rainwater drainage system. That was a pitch tracking ring modulator. I created it using a freeware ring modulator plugin and FL Studio's fruity envelope controller. If you don't want to go through all the trouble, you could always investigate Antares Avox Mutator. When did you start YouTube? I originally started YouTube as a way to share my music. How do you describe this generation for practically being mostly influenced by social media and music production? I would argue that the snake person generation is more heavily influenced by social media than by music production. Only a small fraction of individuals of this generation produce music. Far more consume it. Since you've reached a four-digit number of subscribers, this is now a fully established level four channel. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. How do you feel about that? And where do you see yourself in, let's say, two years? I'm rather ecstatic about this. I think it's a wonderful thing to see so many people willing to learn more about audio production, vocal effects, and my particular brand of electronic music. As for where I see myself in two years, I will probably probably still be producing music and tutorial videos and will probably have between four and five thousand subscribers. What is your favorite vocal effect? It's really hard for me to choose a favorite because there are so many awesome ones. But for the sake of this question, I'm going to say Sonic Charge Bitspeak. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I'm a really big fan of black raspberry, as well as coffee-flavored ice cream. They're both real good. Greetings from Russia. Okay, we have a Russian fan. That's cool. One, why don't you have at least 100,000 subscribers already? It's painful to my heart to see that such a talented man like you has so little respect. Two, how should you boost up to your truly deserved 100,000 subscribers? Three, why are you my idol and your channel like Pearl in World of Dirt? Never seen something that great with such low popularity. I'll answer all of them with the same response. Spread the word. I need more people to tell others about my channel. No one will come to my channel if they don't know it's there. And the best way to inform others is by word of mouth. So please, if you know anyone who is interested in this sort of thing, whether it be music, ponies, tutorials, whatever, share my content with them. What's the most valued song you've made? I'm assuming that they mean a song that is meaningful to me. That's probably my song, Shadow Realm, because it is very personal. I don't usually sing about intimacy. So this was a huge jump for me. Two people asked, what is my favorite kind of music? Electronic music, metal, rock, orchestral. That's pretty much it, though I'm actually not that picky. They also ask, how do you stay on track with everything that you plan? 
and what keeps you motivated with your work. As far as staying on track, I actually have a very detailed chart. I actually have a flow chart that I use to track which tutorial to do next, because some tutorials depend on other tutorials in order to happen. So I have this big chart that maps all of that out. As for vocal effects tests, I just sort of do whatever strikes my fancy. And for songs, I have a Trello board that I use to track all of my song projects, and I've got a lot of them. As far as what keeps me motivated, the fact that it's fun helps. But honestly, you guys are the biggest motivation because I want to make you happy. I want to teach you. I want to make things easier for you guys. That's my biggest motivation. That and sticking to a deadline, I make it a point to try to release every single week, no matter how hard it gets. And that keeps me honest. So yeah, that's how I stay motivated. How many different languages do you speak and how long for each one? I'm fluent in English and I've been learning it ever since I was born. I took five years of Spanish in high school and middle school. And I took one semester of Mandarin Chinese in college. Outside of that, I have cursory experience with Java, JavaScript, jQuery, SQL, PHP, CSS, HTML, and Flex. Have you ever made a track or started making one that turned out so bad you wouldn't stand listening to it? That's a great question. Yes, actually, the first song I ever recorded, it's absolutely terrible and I can, it pains me to listen to it nowadays. I may play it for you for a subscriber milestone down the road. Did you meet any well-known artists in any fandom you're in? I can only think of three. The first one was Comtrues about last year sometime in the summer. He was performing at a local concert venue and I met up with him at a bar after the fact. At Ponyville Cider Fest 2016, I met Forrest Rain and got her autograph for a friend of mine. And at Winnie City Pony Con 2017, I met D-Motive. He is a wonderful gentleman and I hope to meet him again. Any good unique ways of getting creative? I'm a big fan of Brian Eno's oblique strategies. They are a deck of cards with random creative suggestions on them. Good for addressing the problem of being stuck. For those who don't want the actual cards, there is an Android and an iOS app, both of which are free to download. What first got you into producing music and then into making tutorials for others? I first got into producing music when I started taking piano lessons as a child. That was when I learned that I could produce music. Since then, I've had an on and off relationship with producing music until I started getting more serious about it about five years ago. I got into making tutorials for others because the majority of the tutorials that I've seen online have been utter garbage. They are too long, they are messy, they are poorly recorded, they waste the listener's time, and many of them are extremely platform specific. Further, I wanted to be able to provide tutorials for vocal effects all in one place. To my knowledge, no other YouTube channel does this great a variety of vocal effects in one place, so now you know. How did you and Vocoded Glasses meet? I believe it was when he commented on my Dalek and Cyberman vocal effects test. He expressed an interest in collaborating with me, and then we got to messaging over private message on YouTube, and that eventually resulted in us creating the Nightmare Cometh together. It was very sudden, and before I knew it, we were friends. One, how long do you have to keep working with your plugins to make a desirable effect? It depends entirely on the vocal effect in question. Some, like the Cybermen, are extremely easy to create. Others, like a more elaborate vocal effect, can take multiple hours to create. Two, favorite voice effect? I've already answered this and I just said bit speak, but I'm also a fan of the telephone voice. And three, when will you be making the tutorial for Wooden Toaster's Nightmare Night? You should take a look at some of my more recent tutorials. I'm sure you'll be pleased by what you find. Pepsi or Coke? 
Coke, hands down. Diet Coke specifically, though I'm not opposed to Pepsi. Do you play Overwatch? What is your favorite pony? And what's your favorite sound? No, I do not play Overwatch, though I have heard that it is very fun. I might get around to it at some point. Favorite pony is Twilight Sparkle. Best princess is Princess Cadence. And favorite sound, oh goodness. Um, I have pre just mentioned the telephone voice. I'm a big fan of that sort of thing. Anything sort of band limited that's just sort of like very well contained. But I honestly, it, it's really hard to say what my favorite sound is. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna say any bass made by AU5. What is the most annoying thing about making vocal effects? Trying to make ones that change every other word like the one you requested. Pineapple, apple, or pen? I have a pen. I have an apple. Oh, apple pen. I have a pen. I have a pineapple. Oh, pineapple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Oh, pen pineapple. Pen. And that does it for this Q&A special. I hope you enjoyed it. I found this to be a lot of fun. There's some ridiculous vocal effects in there. Thank you for all your awesome questions. This was great. And I will be doing this again for my next subscriber milestone. Hopefully it'll be a little bit less labor intensive because I will have fewer questions to process. So yeah, my next video should be coming out next week. Until then, have fun and keep making sound.